Aloha everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. Today we will be working on an old desk and transforming into the rusty beauty with a mermaid touch. This pretty boy was in a really good shape but needed just a bit of sanding, some cleaning inside and out as what was really dirty. This piece it's all about texture, creating an aged rust effect. So if you'd like to see this transformation, please stay tuned to see how we work on this piece uh, step by step. First thing, I removed the handlers and boiled them with vinegar for about 20-30 minutes. Then I cleaned them with a wire brush. After the hardwares and the ecological leather have been removed, it's time for sanding with 120 grit. Then I started to clean the piece with white lightening. By the way, all the products used are listed in this tutorial description. I prepared terracotta paint with sea spray to create texture. I applied the terracotta mixture around the keyhole, the corners and around the handles. I also added a bit of Florida orange over the terracotta to create different shades. And I let it dry for 2-3 hours. Meanwhile, I painted the desk interior with two coats of mermaid tail. And I prepared the chocolate and sea spray mixture. Once it dried, I applied the chocolate texture all over the piece, only leaving the orange patches uncovered at the moment. the same brush I used for the chocolate mixture, but this time I have erased the excess on a piece of paper and dabbed it over the orange, leaving a big part of it peeking through. Afterwards, I added coffee bean and a little collard green here and there using the best dunk brush. I used the mist spray bottle to keep the texture damp and help the paint blend into each other easily.
the chocolate from the side to the middle of the orange patch. more dark texture here because I wanted to cover more of the orange patch as it was way too much but beside that the process is the same as for the rest of the piece by adding gemstone moss in amber in just random places and I also dabbed it around the orange patches to create variations of shades and to bring this look closer to the rear rust effect. <music> sure I kept my brush wet at all times to help me move the mousse around easily. I wanted to bring a contrasting color in so I used mermaid tail on the handlers under them on the corners and down the keyhole. On the handlers, I felt like something is missing, so I added black wax and the magical touch, the gemstone mousse in amber, which is a game changer here. I sealed the piece with satin top coat in two layers and let it dry 2-3 hours between the coats. And this is the final result. Please let us know your thoughts about this look in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.